phone on this computer. All right, so welcome folks. This is actually the, the inaugural, uh, the inaugural meeting, public meeting of the IPFS community working group. Obviously there are a few of us that have been working for some time together on this stuff, but we're really happy to be inviting other people to, to come and join us and talk about what we're doing and how we can push the IPFS community forward. Um, so for those who haven't met me, which is probably just Dan, I'm Terry Chadborn. I'm a community manager for, I'm at Protocol Labs more than just IPFS, but uh, one of the big things I work on is the Proto School project. Um, maybe we can just go around since we haven't all met each other and give a, a quick intro. Sure. Uh, my name is Portia. I am the community engineer and I wear different hats as the uh, name suggests, but one of the bigger uh, things that I work on is making sure that the contributors have a good experience when they're contributing to IPFS. And I also work on some of the code base as well. Awesome, thank you. Michael? I'm Michael Rogers. Uh, I am leading most of the community stuff uh, for Protocol Labs, including IPFS, which is why I'm on this call here. Uh, and working on some proto school stuff still, and uh, even though Terry's doing the bulk of the work there, um, yeah, and yeah, that's about it. Dan. Hmm. Well, uh, I'm glad to be joining your inaugural meeting, guys. Uh, my yeah. name's <laughs> my name's Dan Shields, and uh, although I'm just becoming maybe a uh, officially part of what you guys are doing I'm hoping uh, I'm based in Colorado I do a lot with the community here locally in the blockchain community especially cool. but uh, distributed systems are definitely keen on my interest right now I'd like to be doing a lot of things with uh, IPFS and actually proto school came up for me uh, I guess uh, before you guys officially released so I was playing around with that uh, the last few days awesome oh, cool. um, I, I hope you like it please feel free to send any feedback my way we're actually still pre-release which i'll share later so that's uh, clearly live but not public <laughs> yet so but it's been nice to have some people finding it and giving me some feedback in the meantime cool. uh jim you want to give us a quick intro i'm sure i'm jim pick um i work i'm working with the uh was it, um, dynamic data um working group and uh we're going to be uh trying to uh We've got libraries and we want people to use them. So that's uh, going to be one of my main tasks this year. So. Awesome. Community. Cool. Mm -hmm. Great. So, and Jim's been, Jim's been a part of many community things for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've seen him around. <laughs> yeah. So we're, as this is our, our, our first official uh, meeting here, we're going to try the format that we have in this document, which is one that I've seen in other calls and liked. So the way we're going to take a stab at this meeting and we can change it if we want to do something else. But we're going to work through, you'll see we have an agenda section at the top. So feel free to add items there. If you have announcements you want to share, if you have some a demo of something that's exciting that has to do with community growth. Um, there is just, just to clarify, there is an IPFS all hands call that is for the entire community but that's a better place to surface like the exciting D app you built using IPFS, et cetera. This call is really focused on what we do to build the community, create resources for the community, improve documentation, build things like proto school. Um, so anything along those lines is totally valid for this agenda. So feel free to add things here before the meeting or during the meeting as you think of them. And then we also have a section below for team updates. So what we'll try is just go through the team updates there and no pressure, some of us are, are uh, full-time working on this working group and some of us are, are not, so no pressure to add things there if, if that's not your situation, but we'll try running through the team updates first and then heading back to the agenda items and talking a little bit about those things. Um, and we can distract ourselves as we go if we find the format isn't working. So I will kick us off with this first, team update if everybody's in that document. Um, so the, the biggest thing I've been working on before the holidays and yesterday is getting us to the 1.0 milestone of Proto School, which is it, it was prior to this milestone, 
just the tutorials, so online self-guided workshops that help you understand decentralized web concepts. Right now, the content is heavily focused on IPFS. It will extend beyond that, but this call is about the IPFS, the IPFS community. Um, and so now that site includes a lot more information about sort of the, the community aspect of Proto School. What we want is to have chapter organizers around the world who are leading live in-person events using the Proto School tutorials as content, but having mentors in person, which can be a really nice, friendly onboarding experience for people. So that's the goal, that all of those tutorials will be useful both online and in-person at events. So there's now um, Proto School Lives in its own GitHub organization. There's an organizing repo there with information about how to set up a local chapter, which gives people then access to uh, have, if they want, to set up a GitHub pages site so that they would then be on our domain. So they would have proto.school slash San Francisco or whatever the case may be. So there's a way for them to set up an easy website there. Otherwise, they can just use the repo, use it for discussions with local community members, um, and give us a link to a different website they've set up, or just use that repo, use the readme in there as their site, whatever they're most comfortable with. So really trying to make the process as easy as we can for people and provide a lot of resources um, without directly controlling what they're doing. Chapters are really meant to operate independently. So we've done a lot of work between Michael and I and some of the other folks um, to build this structure that we hope will support community growth. Um, and like I said, that site is live now with those changes. There's also a new tutorial that I'm excited about that's just text-based. Michael started it and I took a stab at tweaking it. And it's really, it's you don't need to know how to code to do this one. It's really meant to introduce some of the basic concepts of decentralized web what's location addressing that you're used to versus content addressing, what's hashing, the stuff that makes it all work and helps explain why one would bother, I think is really important in terms of onboarding beginner-friendly materials. Um, so that stuff is there now. And for the next week and a half or so before the 14th, I'm gonna be working on a prep for launch. So getting our Twitter account set up, um, getting some folks within protocol labs, and I'm happy to have other people do this as well, go through, provide more feedback. Um, there are various issue templates for stuff that you find there. Have people who already know they want to lead chapters set those up so we have more to look at on that chapter listing page when we launch. So this is now the kind of fine tuning, making the tweaks that we have time to make before that launch on the 14th, and then we'll do that during the IPFS weekly call on the 14th. Um, yeah, any questions on any of that stuff? Just wanted to comment real quick. The, mm -hmm. the data structure tutorial you just landed yesterday. So if if ever, if people have like, were looking at Proto School before late yesterday, yes. they didn't <laughs> see that. Before. Now it's there, so you should, yes. you should check it. Yeah. yeah, exactly. That just hit. Um, so yeah, anything else on Proto School? Yeah, so uh, I'll have to check out that new section. That's really cool. Uh, but talked about chapters, actually, I run a, a bunch of different meetups out here in my area. Mm -hmm. and I'd love to be on that list and help. Uh, um, that would be awesome. You guys are opening. Yeah. Yeah, that would be great. So what I'd love for you to do as an experiment is to just go to the Proto School website and mm -hmm. see if you can figure out from there how to get to the information about how to set up a chapter. If you succeed, yeah. you'll find hopefully very detailed steps to follow. Um, feel free to ping me directly if, if you fail, but hopefully that'll be a test run and you can give me feedback on whether those instructions make sense. Um, yeah, yeah, and that would be great if you happen to have time before the 14th to get the, get your, you know, get your repo set up, whether or not you want to connect it to a website. It doesn't have to be a website hosted on our site either. I think some people who already run meetup groups might choose to have their meetup site be the website for their chapter, which is totally fine. There's a way to give us the link to that um, instead of something else. So um, however you want to make that work is fine, but it would be great to have you as one of those, one of those people who's creating one of our first chapters. That'd be awesome. Sure. I'll go dig around. Cool. Um, and then one of the things, there's a lot, if you look at the, if you look at the issues on GitHub, you know, as we've been going with this milestone, we've certainly pushed some issues to the future. 
So there's a lot in there. Some of it is little tweaks. Some of it is new tutorial proposals. One of the tutorials that we're excited to build next, which is not, this is not between now and next week, but um, one of the next ones we want to build is one on using the IPFS file API, um, which I think will make why one would bother using IPFS more clear if you don't feel like transmitting random JSON objects, you know, could be helpful. So Michael's going to take on the task of making Protoskull actually work with files on the web without all the security issues that browsers don't usually let you do that. Um, and then I'm going to take a stab at building those, the actual tutorial that you would go through um, to learn how to use that. So that's one of the exciting ones that we're looking forward to. I think that's it for me on team updates. Uh, Portia, do you want to go next? You're on mute. I'm muted, Portia. I know, I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Well, I'll just give an update on what I did last um, quarter. Uh, one of the bigger projects that I worked on was revamping the IPFS weekly call. Our weekly calls are uh, five five o'clock UTC time, and this was just a good way for us to figure out uh, what people are doing in a community. So, how we have the calls now? So we have announcements, and we have people who are building cool stuff. Um, I have someone from Pinata who's actually going to present the next month or two, um, and this is just like a really good forum for people to know exactly like what are the different features we're working on in terms of the API, um, how to actually use IPFS in certain cases, and why is distributed web, like why is IPFS important? We actually had someone talk, uh, Nico talk about that in November. Um, so. IPFS is just a really good way, uh, the IPFS weekly calls are a really good way for curious people who, have, who are part of meetups, uh, curious people who want to get started in um, working with IPF to IPFS to figure out, well, what have we been doing? And uh, I've, I think it was pretty exciting. Um, last quarter, I've also worked on figuring out what it means to contribute to our code base. Is like when I started at um, Protocol Labs working on IPFS, I remember like during one of the first calls, um, someone, I'm not going to, uh, someone mentioned, hey, if you're curious, just die then. And for me, I've been spending the past two or three months figuring out what does it mean to just dive in? Like, what does it mean for someone who, is a developer or someone who's written docs and who's curious and what kind of steps they should take in order to like make a land a meaningful contribution. So some of the things include me actually working on um, the JS IPFS API to see like what are the different steps one has to take, what are some of the common questions that people have, what are some of the gaps in terms of the contributor documentation. Um, and last month, we had our very first Contribute to IPFS event held in Berlin. And this event was a really good way to talk to people face to face about their motivations for contributing and what are some of the problems that they encountered and what are some of the things that we are doing right. So it was really encouraging. I got a chance to meet people who um, who work on documentation for other distributed web projects such as Ethereum. Um, I got a chance to talk to developers who were curious and who wanted to get that uh, first, first PR out there. Um, so that was last semester, I uh, semester, <laughs> that was last quarter. Um, what, um, what we're going to, what I'm going to do for next, um, for this upcoming quarter, I want to continue to take like the learnings of the pain points and uh, work on the documentation, like work on ways that um, people who want to contribute um, can easily get onboarded, um, welcome them and be able to like 
have a process. Like, let's say that you are curious and you don't know where to begin. Well, we're building like automation and we're building um, better docs to help people get from being curious to actually landing a PR. And speaking of document uh, documentation, I will also be working on looking at, we have, we have a lot of documentation and we're figuring out a better way in terms of making it easier for someone to look at it and build their own DAP and to figure out how to make IPFS more accessible based on like the organization of our docs. So I will be looking at, I will be doing an audit of the docs and figuring out like what is really working for us in IPFS and what can be improved upon. Um, so that's me and that's what I have been working on and that's what I will be continuing to work on. Are there any questions? I think you have a, um, a GitHub issue open to collect information if people have suggestions on like where the docs are confusing or uh, con like new contributor pain points and stuff like that. So is that a good place mm -hmm. for people to help influence that process as you're going through it? That definitely is a good place. And I can actually uh, put that post recording, um, the link to that issue. Cool, awesome. Thank you, Terry. So, Michael? Yeah, it's me. It's my turn. Um, <laughs> so I, don't, I don't even remember what happened last quarter. I, I've taken a break and it's, it's all gone now. Um, but uh, <laughs> um, last night I finished up, um, I, so a Proto School tutorials now have a way to do file uploads. It basically replaces the run button and you drop files or upload files instead. And then the, the function signature um, takes those files from the browser. Um, I, I think whatever tutorials that we do are going to have to begin with like a quick tutorial of like just working with file objects in the browser because they're a little tricky. Um, but uh, yeah, it's looking really good. Um, so that's up in a PR, in a work in progress PR. Um, and yeah, now I just need to do a lot of metrics work. Um, I'm still working on like this, this big project to try to figure out like what is the growth of the overall IPFS community um, by pulling a lot of data out of the GitHub archive and processing it. So um, there's some interesting sort of MapReduce Lambda work that I'm doing there, and that cool. is uh, it's, it's coming along nicely. Um, it's just, uh, it's yeah, it, it takes, th these things take forever to run um, and to generate like these cache files and stuff. So um, the whole dev process is just really kind of prolonged because I'm always waiting for things to run. So, um, so yeah, that's me. Awesome. Dan or Jim, do either of you have anything you've been working on that you wanted to share with us? Group? No pressure. Um, uh, I'll just quickly just, I'm just dropping in from another group. So um, I didn't write it all up in the, in, in the document. Um, but yeah, so for the past uh, quarter uh, in the dynamic data group, we've been working on a, a demo called PeerPad, which has been around for a while, but it's been all rewritten under the covers and getting everything working and it's it's actually sort of semi-functional now and uh so i'm looking forward to the next uh over through the spring here uh trying to maybe develop some tutorials with uh i'd love to get some stuff in the photo school using the underlying libraries awesome so actually jim maybe you and i should talk later because uh per, the uh, peer pad is basically inspiration for what i'm i've been working on um, and uh, so uh, I guess, like you were saying, Terry, this isn't a place to talk more about the demos, but uh, in the background, what I'm interested in, in producing is uh, a distributed hosted community set of resources here. So uh, trying to inspire people to host their own node and host content all on effectively a community website. Uh, uh, so it's owned for and operated and hosted by the community is the idea. So PeerPad is kind of the back end I've been looking at actually. Yeah, just just the concept of using uh, the you need to to build like really sort of interactive things to tie a lot of people together in a decentralized manner. You really do want to use these CRDT style data structures, constant yeah. free replicated data types, which is hard for anybody to understand. So uh, obviously, the school idea fits in perfectly with that. Yeah. 
Awesome. And Jim, there's a, a specific type of issue available to propose new tutorial ideas for Proto School. So whenever you get to a point where you think you have something kind of fleshed out of how it would look, feel free to pop an idea in there and we can start talking about it. Yeah, I've barely even started to think about it yet. That's totally Although, fine. You've got you've got me thinking about maybe running a local chapter here though in Vancouver. So that is that would be lovely if you're game to do it. This is the time to get started. That'd be great. Um, okay, so let's we've gone through our people, so let's pop back up to the agenda and see what else we have on there. Um, so if anybody wants to meet us. Uh, a couple of us, Portia and I, are going to be at FOSDEM in Brussels, which I think is February 2nd and 3rd, or something like that. And then I think probably Michael and Portia and I will be in San Francisco area at Waffle JS. I think it's February, it's the week of the 11th. It might be midweek that week on Wednesday. So uh, if anybody wants to get together, do let us know. Um, and then, Michael, you wanted to kind of look together at the working group OKRs for Q1. So I put a link in the agenda doc. Do you want to kind of lead that discussion? Sorry, muted. Sure. Um, yes, um, I'll knock through it real quick. I was, I was looking through it earlier just to find my stuff, and it turns out I don't have a ton on here, actually. <laughs> so that was relatively easy. Um, so Proto School is a growing top level project. I think that, um, so we, I don't think that we should go through this one right now just because the priority right now is just getting the launch out for next week. So we can kind of return to that um, after the big public launch since that's what we're putting all of our energy into at the moment. Um, although I did actually complete my, my item on here for the, uh, for the tutorial, for the file upload tutorials. Uh, GSIPFS is an inviting project to contribute to. Um, so in here, we, we talked a bit about um, separating out the first con contributor guidelines into a documented separate policy. And then um, first time contributors are greeted by an inviting automated message. Um, so uh, Portia, did, did you mention that during your update? I'm sorry, I don't, I don't recall. Uh, yeah, 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 you, you already did. Um, and then yeah, the, the so I mentioned a lot of things. Awesome, that, awesome. And uh, the, the, the last one in here is is this awesome issue that's actually going to be like a lot of work um, is the the removing ready event from basic usage stuff. Um, so, um, should we set like we should set up like a separate kind of sync about that because I I have a bunch of information in my head about it too that we should kind of bring down. Awesome. Um, yeah. So let's um uh, let's try to do that. Well, I'm out next week, so maybe week after next we can follow up with that. Um, okay. And. Uh, you talked about the taxon. So uh, developers can discover how to solve problems with IPFS is the last objective. Uh, Portia already talked about the taxonomy that she's working on um, for the documentation stuff. And um, I guess the, the last thing is uh, the, the publication that Terry's been putting together. Um, do you have any updates on, on that right now? I know that there actually has been some movement there, but I think it's mostly discussion right now. Yeah, mostly discussion. So we uh, are, well, the current plan is that by the end of the quarter, we will have a medium publication. This name is in question, but the, the publication would cover not just IPFS, but um, the, the broader kind of scope of decentralized web. And I view it as a place from this community perspective as a great place to surface like cool things that people are doing with these technologies um, to kind of create this sort of mentorship like I think as people see someone sharing the cool thing they built with IPFS they might feel a little more like oh I could I could try something um, so use cases or tutorials or why did I build this thing or why did I not want to build this on the centralized web um, places to surface a lot of that whether it's around IPFS or around libp 2 p or multi-formats and all of the other stuff that we're talking about and it may include some kind of bigger like philosophical discussions. It can take a lot of formats. Some of the things that Medium offers us also is the ability to embed videos. So for example, if one of you gave a talk at a conference about decentralized, we could embed the video and you could write up a little bit of context around it. it you can also embed podcast episodes. I think there's a potential podcast in the works here that Zach is coordinating. 
Um, so we might be able to do something similar with those. I find it really easy to put in, you know, just send code and images and whatever. So it's pretty user friendly um, and easy to coordinate between writers and editors. So this is a this is a format that I've used before on the offline camp publication. And we'll also think about what should be actually cross posted there to get when we're talking about the aspects of decentralized to appeal to people that are most interested in it working offline. There may be a broader audience there to kind of push some traffic back and forth. Um, so at the moment, this is still sort of in brainchild stage, I believe. If you click that link, you'll find the start of, at the bottom of it, you'll find a link to another conversation where we started, like people are throwing in a few ideas around um, topics, articles they'd like to write. So feel free to surface to me or in that issue. Let me get a link to the right issue for you. Um, there's any ideas that you have for writing. I'm very open to authors from throughout the community. So feel free to surface ideas, but realistically, this is not, this is not like a January <laughs> launch. We're very focused on making sure we get proto school out the door. Um, but by the end of the quarter, we hope to have at least the first few articles out for it and have some some structure going and a, and a look at kind of what we expect down the road. Uh, anything else you want to talk about on those OKRs, Michael? Oh, the other thing to know is just those um, to the left of each of those OKRs, you will see that there's a link to an issue for people to easily be able to find a place to comment and contribute to that discussion. So that's a nice connection there that will hopefully make it easy for us to talk about those as we go. Um, and I'm, I'm working on a little dashboard app that like dynamically pulls that data out and then it shows you all the activity from all the issues. It's pretty cool. But who knows when that'll be done? I have no time. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a fun side project. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that we're good. I mean, we've got two minutes left to nine, so I think that we can just give everybody their two minutes back, unless uh, there's some any last minute questions from like Dan or Jim. Mm -hmm. I'm just nice. glad to meet you guys. Thank you so much for including me. Yeah, I'm glad you joined us. Yeah, <coughs> yeah same here. Just <laughs> dropped in. <laughs> awesome. We love it. Great. Um, well, have a have a lovely week, everyone, and we'll be back here next week, same time. If anyone wants to continue to join us, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Although I'll be Bye. not here, so <laughs> but but have fun without me. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thanks, guys. Bye. All right. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.